Okay, turn the camera off. This is the weirdest experience driving by myself. Like, I'm by myself. Like, holy Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> or the closest you've been to it. I could go anywhere right now except the fact that I have like no gas. It feels good to be a gangster. So my camera broke this week and now my relatives are over. Well, one of them broke my camera and no one admits to it. So I had to get a new one. So my parents got me... So this is my new baby. This is my baby! I didn't name him yet. Let's name him. This is Elijah. Because my friend Kiernan has it. So Kiernan said, like, Kiernan has it. So I clearly know it works. So I went to go take the driving test, which I was totally nervous about. And I had to borrow my sister's car because you have to have, like, emergency brake access for the other same tractor so yeah we brought like but then we get there and i'm like mom that guy seems like a complete because he you could just tell he's an app and then he my mom hands him all the paperwork and he's like we don't accept this because my sister's insurance thing like we had to print it offline because they're sending the card in the card in the mail so we just printed it offline it's totally valid but they wouldn't take it so he made us go inside and talk to the supervisor who is also a dick and He's like, no, we don't accept it. And, like, at one point, the other guy came in, and he's, like, told me and my mom to go stand somewhere else. And it was oof, so bad. And then, like, basically told me that I couldn't take the test. So I cried, and I just walked out, because I was a big pansy, and I walked out, and I cried in the car. And then my mom came out, and then she found some guy with a pickup truck who said I could use his pickup truck on the test. He was just, like, the nicest person ever. Really, I took the driving test in a stranger's pickup truck. And the guy I got was, like, this guy who wouldn't shut up, like, this, the guy, tester guy, like, wouldn't shut up. He just talked about, like, Great Adventure. And at one point, he was talking about Lassie, so I thought of Jen, <laughs> and I passed. And it was just, so I have my license now, and it's just so weird. Hey, Molly, I got your letter. Well, there's what to say I got you, but I know I had you. Like, I figured out I had you, like, before we even got them handed out. I didn't open it on film because I didn't have the camera. And I recognized it instantly. Well, it's this. Okay. And then... And if you don't know what that is, I'm not surprised, but it's from my second favorite movie of all time, which is The Science of Sleep. So that was really cool, and it really actually meant a lot to me for you to do, like, oh, thank you about it. And I'd read it, but I really don't have time, Molly, and I feel like a bitch for not reading it. It's my favorite song, which is from Smashing Pumpkins 1979, which I said my first video was my favorite song, so it actually, like, this, like, this whole letter thing actually really meant a lot to me. So thanks. Aiden, I hope you feel better and you should come to New Jersey. That'd be awesome. Kate, I can't, I saw so much of you week and of you this week. And I'm trying to think, but I, I, I have to rush this video, guys, and I'm really sorry. I was driving to, um, my, driving my dad to Petco, because the night, two days ago, and I was at the stoplight near my house, and I looked over to my left, and I was like, oh, there's some girl driving. And then I really looked at it, it was Melanie, and she didn't even recognize me at first or anything, but that was pretty funny. Allie, hey Allie. Jen. I just wanted to tell you that I can spell confusion with a K, and I can like it. And I think we're hanging out later, so yeah, you, you could be the first person I drive with. And also, your hair looks really sweet from what I can tell so far. I'm reading, I'm reading, oh, and Melanie, I realize they're both wearing tie-dye shirts and our licenses. And are we voting on the nerd thing?